Welcome back to another Space Gas tutorial video. In the previous video, we generated the structural part of the circular tank model. We will now apply some loads and then analyze the tank. Let's assume that the primary loading condition comes from the tank being full of water. We can apply a hydrostatic load to the tank wall by choosing the wall filter, selecting all the wall plates, and then picking the Varying Pressure Loads tool. You will notice from the red prompt at the bottom left corner of the screen that space gas is asking for the start of a load axis. The load axis is used to define the extent of the load, which in this case extends from the base of the tank to the top. The load is always projected normal to the load axis onto the selected plates. In this case, the horizontal position of the load axis relative to the tank is unimportant. We can choose any node at the base of the tank for the start of the load axis and the node vertically above, at the top of the tank, for the end of the axis. For a hydrostatic load, we simply choose the linear variation option and then specify the start and finish pressures. Note that for non-linear pressure variations, such as those associated with bulk solids containers and the like, we could choose the equation-based variation and then input an equation that defines the shape of the load profile. The equation-based variation accepts any equation and can model any type of load profile. We must also specify the load case that the pressure loads are applied to and the direction of the load relative to the plates. If we choose local axes, the pressure load will be applied normal to the plate surfaces. Alternatively, if we choose one of the global axis options, then the load will be applied parallel to a global direction vector that we can define. In this case, we choose local axis and then click the OK button to generate the loads. To view the wall pressure variation more clearly, we will now select a vertical strip of plate elements. Create a temporary filter and then rotate horizontally. You can see that the pressure variation is as expected. Now let's switch to the base filter and apply a uniform plate pressure in the downward direction. Now that the loads have been defined, we can analyze the model. If we look at the deflected shape, we can see that the wall expands outwards at the bottom, and you can see the restraining effect of the bottom ring beam. You may notice that the deflected shape of the tank wall is not a smooth curve at the bottom. And this is simply because the deflected plates are drawn as flat surfaces. This can be improved by having a finer mesh. However, it may not be warranted as it is primarily a visual issue. If we click one of the nodes near the bottom and choose Analysis Results, you can see the actual deflections. To examine the tensile stresses in the tank, we can simply click on various plates. Or generate a contour diagram in the space gas renderer. That brings us to the end of our plate element series. Subscribe to Space Gas for more video tutorials.